I am running the air conditioning in my car because my thermometer reads 77 degrees, which in my body means that it's summertime. We skipped right on past spring. Now this is beautiful spring weather. The grass is green. We got some rain last night. And let's talk about milk. I did a Facebook poll uh, about a week ago now and basically asked if you are one of two types of people. If you're a person that enjoys a bowl of cereal, when you prepare that bowl of cereal, do you pour the cereal first and then the milk, or the milk first and then the cereal? Now, I can tell you the right way is to do the cereal first, but I understand that not all people wanna do things the right way, and uh, some people like to do the milk first. I don't know why, it makes no sense to me, the vast majority of people chose the cereal first option. Again, the correct option. But my question is this, if you are a person that prefers to pour the milk first and then the cereal, how do you gauge how much to pour? I know on the side of the box it gives you the serving suggestion, it says this much cereal for this much of milk. So theoretically, you could measure out both of those quantities, dump them in, and call it a day. But if you're not that person, and I don't know many people that are, I don't know many people that are, I know there are people, I don't know many people that are the type to measure it out. Um, what do you do? If you're going to pour the milk first, here's my problem with that. The second you pour in the cereal, the cereal is less dense than the milk. So it's just going to float on top. So you're going to get significantly less cereal for the amount of milk that you've now poured into this bowl. That's why I do the cereal first, because the milk finds its way through the cereal, and then once you see the cereal start to rise, you know you've poured enough milk and you're done. Um, but if you do it the other way, you can't. You're getting more milk and less cereal, and it's not mixing properly, because it's gonna take a lot longer for that bottom layer of cereal to start to get soggy and fall through the milk than it would if the cereal were already in there and the milk is working on it already. So, I am a cereal before milk person. You don't have to be. Um, if you want to be right, then you will be a cereal before milk person. Man, traffic going side to side is crazy today. So let me know. Milk before cereal, cereal before milk, and why? And I'll see you tomorrow.